Today in our 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee, we're going to be installing Taconcha's Prodigy P3 trailer brake controller, part number 90195. And in conjunction with that, we'll be using Taconcha's plug-in wiring adapter, part number 3045-P. This is a premium brake controller with an abundance of extra features in addition to a regular trailer brake controller's uses. This braking system is proportional, so the faster you're moving and the harder you apply the brakes, the more that is going to transfer back to your trailer, allowing it to stop the same way that your vehicle stops. It can be mounted in a 360 degree rotation because it'll auto level itself. This is nice so you can get the most out of the locations where you can place it on your vehicle. The buttons located on the left allow you to set the power. Higher power settings will give you a more aggressive braking and lower settings will be less sensitive. This is useful if you have different trailer loads. So if you have a lighter load, you can turn that down, or if you have a heavier load, you can turn it up. For further fine tuning of your trailer loads, it has a boost setting using the top right button. This boost setting will allow the brakes to be more sensitive on a braking application. And when the boost is set off or on boost setting one, this is ideal for trailer loads that are less than the weight of the vehicle. If your trailer weighs roughly the same as the vehicle, boost one and two can be used. And if your trailer load is more than the vehicle, you can use settings two and three. There's a manual lever located at the bottom. This way you can manually apply your brakes in an emergency situation or just during testing. It has an easy to see and use interface with the LCD display. The lower right button with the picture of the open book on it will allow you to open up the settings menu. Here you can change your display options, such as brightness, color, and contrast. You can also change your brake type, so you can have electric, hydraulic, or electric over hydraulic. And last, you have your help, where you can change your language and troubleshooting settings. And if you are using the boost feature and you want to reverse, sometimes that extra sensitivity from the boost can make it a little difficult to back up. So to temporarily disable the boost, you can hold the brake pedal and hold the boost button for five seconds. You'll then see the R flashing in the top right, indicating that boost has been temporarily disabled. This will go on for about three minutes, making it easier for those backing up maneuvers. You can end it early by pressing the boost button. Now that we've gone over the features, let's show you how to get it installed. It's one of the easiest out there with the factory wiring harness. We'll start our installation here at the driver's lower left kick panel. We'll need to remove the cloth undershield. You can do that by pushing away towards the front of the vehicle, rotating it to the side, and just kicking it down. It can rest against the brake pedal here. Your trailer brake controller connector is going to be located directly above the large harness right behind this covering. It's hard to see, but you can get a small glimpse of it. It's a four pin gray connector that'll match our plug and play adapter here. We'll go ahead and take our gray end and just plug it right in. You have to kind of work it up in there, get your hand in place, and just make sure you go all the way in until it clicks. Then now that it's plugged in, you get a little better idea of where it's located. Now we can run our wiring back and reinstall the cloth undershield that just pushes right back into place. Due to the mounting restrictions on the P3, the only place we can mount it is going to be located here on the left side of your steering column. Use the two self-tapping screws to thread it into the panel. We're going to kind of line up the bottom of the bracket with the bottom edge of the control panel here. After you've got one screw started, go ahead and start the other. We're just using a Phillips head screwdriver. You could also use a power drill with a Phillips head bit on the end. We're gonna use the quick release bracket to go with the small bracket. Go ahead and line up the two holes on the quick release bracket with the small bracket that we just threaded into the dash. We're gonna use the machine screws to thread into this bracket. And then thread in the other side. Before you thread them all the way down, you're gonna to wanna to set the angle that you want it to be located at. So we're gonna put ours at, right at about this angle here and then tighten it down. They can rotate up or down. Refer to your instructions to ensure that you're not exceeding the angle in which it can be mounted. 
In order to get the wiring up there, we are going to come back up from the bottom panel and down through the square opening in the panel. And we want to make sure that the wiring is routed in front of your emergency brake pedal here so it doesn't contact it when you apply your emergency brake. Once you've got that set, just go up and plug it into your controller. If everything's connected properly, your controller will light up when you plug it in. Now you can hook it to your trailer, manually activate the brakes using the sweeper on the bottom, and verify that it applies the brakes on your trailer. We've got our trailer tester plugged in, and as you can see here, when I swipe the brakes, it applies back on our tester. And that completes our installation of the Takancha Prodigy P3 trailer brake controller and the Takancha plug-in wiring adapter on our 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.